look how to save our pictures after we've edited them from raw and make them into JPEG images. So after we've gone through and edited our pictures, we are going to take all of these and uh, select them all to save them. So we've gone through, edited all of our pictures. What we want to do is go to this little kind of list and hit select all. This is going to select all of our pictures. Now if we have ones that are deleted and we do select all, what it's going to do is after we press done, it's going to delete those. So it's not going to actually save those deleted ones. So you'll be fine there. So we've gone here and hit select all. It's going to take all of our pictures for saving. And we go down to save images and click save images. Here, we're going to set the destination to same location. It's going to save them in the same raw folder in which we put them. After we've done that, we're going to leave document name, but then put in parentheses our name right here. What's going to happen is it's going to be named the same image. It's going to preserve the name, img underscore 8250, but it's going to add Jeremy Whalen to the end of it. Third thing we need to do is change DNG if it's on DNG to JPEG. It doesn't matter if it's lowercase or uppercase, it just needs to be JPEG. And the last thing that we're going to do is make sure that it's format JPEG and change the quality to 12. Once we hit save, we're going to watch this down here and it's going to tell us how many pictures that it's saving. The saving takes time but at the end what we'll be able to do is see in this case I did in practice folders in raw you can see that now I've created JPEG images images that we can use universally on web or on different media for our projects.